Hello all, Vitibus here, back once again. Not with Samurai Deeper Kyo. I will return to that at a later time. I have posted it as on hold. I will return back if I get any requests for it or when I'm getting ready to. But I'm going to bring you the Let's Play that I want to do next, which is Hot Wheels Burning Rubber. And I'm doing this in, in honor of Gadget Racers being my top rated video right now. Well, it's not really rated, but top viewed video. As you can tell, the game's a lot like Gadget Racers. It does look a bit more difficult, and the demo just, they suck really badly. I mean, you can tell, they, they just suck. They're terrible. But this game actually does remind me a whole lot of um, Micro Machines for the SNES, except for it's not top-down, which is good. Let's go ahead and make a new game. Look at this right off the bat. What is missing here? If you guys said A, you are correct. But if you look further, there's no E, there's no I, there's no O, and there is no U. So apparently the people who made this game hate vowels, but that's okay because I don't need vowels. I will be VP. And for those of you who don't know, that stands for Vitofus Prime my channel's name. I don't usually address myself as Vitavis Prime because it's just too much to say, so I just say Vitavis. Um, we are not going to be that car because, I mean, it's a nice looking car, but they have a cooler looking car, and that it would be this one right here, my friends. That is an awesome car, and we will be automatic because manual transmission sucks. And, well, you guys don't know that I suck with it because, well, you just have to take my word for it that I suck with manual transmission. Anyway, you can tell that this game runs quite well. It's another one of those games that is a 3D racing game and it runs just spectacular on the GBA. Uh, the cars are a little buggy. You can see them flickering on and off sometimes. Even my car flickered there. That's weird. And that's not that's not Bandicam, I promise. That's just the GBA. It's kind of a tricky little game, but it's it's one of the really, really easy um, racing games. And it also does have customization as well, so yeah, that's pretty cool. After this, I don't really know what I'm going to do for my next Let's Play. I was gonna do... I had Scourge Hive up there for a while, and then I realized that the watermark covers the infection meter in it, and that is just not cool. Because I reference the infection meter a lot. Because, you know, it's a big part of gameplay, and if it's covering up the numbers, that's just not gonna work. So, I'll have to bring you guys a uh, Let's Play of Scourge Hive when I can get that watermark off. I know I'm not going to do anything illegal to get it off. I'm going to hopefully get enough money to end up registering Bandicam, because I really do love Bandicam. And I like the fact that their um, their watermark is not as bad as Hypercam's. That, that thing is annoying. Alright, let's see what we can get here. Engine... well, we already have the stock engine. If you were to get race engine, it costs 60 gold. We don't have 60 gold, unfortunately, so let's try the muffler. And sport muffler, race muffler. So there's sport muffler, so we'll go ahead and get sport. 10 gold left over, not bad. And now we have a, uh, a new muffler, so let's go to the next race. And it is the piano. This is why it reminds me of Micro Machines, which makes sense, too, because, you know, Hot Wheels are child's play toys. Whenever you see that exclamation point, it means there is a shortcut coming up. As you could tell, I just took a shortcut that just cut a ton of the track off. That's a tricky turn right there. If you don't know it's coming, it can really trick you. So can that one. <clears throat> Those really tricky, you know, sharp corner turns, they are not so fun. As you can tell, we are way in the lead. There is no way we'll lose, even if I fail one of these turns really badly. But I don't think that'll be happening. I mean, you guys, how you guys saw how epically I drove in 
gadget racers. Well, you know, somewhat. But, yeah. And like I was saying before, um, definitely, please, 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 anybody comment, subscribe. Especially commenting. Subscribing, that can come later, you know, with tenure or whatnot, but I really need comments to see if people like my videos, to see what I need to change, or if you like it. Because I changed the volume of the sound that the game makes. I'm running it at about 50% system volume. So I want to see if that makes a difference in the videos. I know it's going to make a difference. I just want to see just how much of a difference it's going to make. We're going to go ahead and uh, get this race engine here. Let's go back. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. It bought it, but it didn't set it up. Ah, you have to push A, okay. C, oh, it's because I keep pushing B to go back, okay. Well, this ought to make a difference. I I was trying uh, to do a Let's Play of this without uh, changing the settings of Bandicam, and it was just making my computer just crap for the latter videos of it, and I couldn't figure it out, and it was because I forgot to change the settings. So, yeah, I'm stupid, but anyway, um, I digress there. Oh, see that exclamation point? There is a shortcut, and there it is. It's kind of a tough one to take, because, as you notice, the shortcuts in here are always very narrow. Yeah, I feel stronger already. But yeah, definitely don't don't be afraid to comment. I'm I'm gonna keep saying this until somebody actually comments that's not Nintendo LP. Because he's my only commenter so far. I'm looking for, you know, constructive criticism. I know I'm kinda monotone, but because I know somebody said uh, they actually sent me a private message on YouTube saying that, oops, that was not good. That was really bad. Well, that doesn't make any sense. When you reverse, um, you don't actually push the opposite direction. You know, like you do with a wheel, an actual steering wheel, you turn it in the opposite direction that you want to turn. Well, you don't do that in here. That's odd. And even with the mess up, we still make good timing. And we still complete the race. That is awesome. We're going to get ourselves a new part. And this time I'm going to push A and not B. And as you can tell, you also have lives in this game. So this game doesn't mess around. It's not like gadget racers where you can just keep repeatedly failing. No, this one's like, you gotta, you got to be good. We're not going to get any race parts. We're going to look for another sport part. Oh, look, sport part. There we go. And we will... Ooh, wow. That was a lot of upgrades. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and save it real quick. And yes, I will override the save. And with that, that is going to be the end of this video. I'm going to make it a little short because I don't think the next race will fit in this short time limit. Come on back for part two of Let's Play Hot Wheels Burning Rubber. Later, guys.